All right, so this is just going to be a quick video, instructional video on how to install the bolt-on conversion to any of the kits available. So these are the stainless inserts that I prefer to use. They take any M6 screw, so those can easily be found. There's some included, either panhead or countersunk, your choice. But you can also find these bolts at any local hardware store. And one thing just to take note of is on the top of these, each one has a piece of plastic that is stuck onto the top. Uh, this is the reason why I prefer to use these is because you don't need to worry about epoxy getting into the threads when you epoxy these into the fuselage. Um, so it's important to leave those on and make sure that it is intact on each insert before you epoxy them into the fuselage. So in short what we're doing here is we are inserting, th we're going to epoxy these three inserts into the front and then these two into the back of the fuselage. Now to make things easier on myself here is the front wing. I have this jig that I made um, many years ago so basically it just has these three holes lined up along this ruler almost and this is just to keep my spacing accurate and these are 29 millimeters apart center to center um, you can make that a little bit wider a little bit narrower okay now this type of drill bit I think works best um, you can of course use any drill bit that you have but this is a 7 7 eighths or a 22 millimeter drill bit um, and it's good because it, it gives you enough room for your countersink. Okay, so it's important to make sure that these holes are going to line up with where you're going to put the inserts on the fuselage. So one helpful tip is just line the wing up right where it's supposed to be. And now you have a general sense of where these inserts are going to go. And the same is done with the rear. All right, so now that the holes are drilled, um, it's important to be careful because you're obviously missing a lot of wood there, so you don't want these wings to break. Um, it's time to, on the bottom side of the front wing, which is the flat side, and on whatever side you want for this because it's, it's symmetrical on each side um, just put a piece of tape I like to use this painters tape and this is the the paper kind um, I've used the I've tried to use the plastic kind um, but it doesn't work that well because when the epoxy heats up during the reaction it will shrink and you'll get all sorts of wrinkles in the tape and then that'll show up instead of having a nice flat cured epoxy you'll have um, these wrinkles um, and it's, it's really just you know then you have to sand a little extra of it it doesn't come out as nice so I prefer to use the the paper kind alright so I have the bottoms nicely taped up and it's important to really press in hard um, on the wood and don't make sure you're not pressing in over the hole because then you'll get an indent and that'll show up when the epoxy cures so press really hard around the holes so that that tape really is bonded nice to the wood otherwise um, when you fill these up you might end up having a little bit of a leak and it really makes a mess because then your part gets stuck to the whatever surface you're working on so just take the extra time and really make sure that this is nicely sealed up okay so now we have a general sense of where these are going and that alignment is critical um, and now there's two ways to get these inserts down into the fuselage you can use the same drill bit that you used for the wings um, what's important here is the depth that these go into so you want this to be you want it to have about two mil two millimeters above it two to three millimeters above it for epoxy to cure. You just don't want this to be perfectly flush with the top surface. Otherwise that's it's not gonna be it's not gonna be good. You want it to be two millimeters or below. Um, 
So that's one important thing to keep in mind. And so again, you can use the same drill bit as before, keeping in mind the depth, or you can use a router. Um, for this particular one, I'm gonna use a router. I just think it's easier, but I will also quickly show you how to use a drill bit. Okay, so you can see here I've used the router to route in these the, the channel for the inserts. Um, there's enough room to move them around and make sure they are lined up properly. Um, now for the drill example, I just use this 2x4 just to, just to show you how it's done. Um, I drilled nice and straight and even um, to the correct depth and our insert fits nicely in the bottom. Okay, so I'm using the jig, um, the spacer jig that I've uh, used earlier. Um, it's nice and evenly running down the fuselage here and I'm going to be using this little needle just to gently poke these to make sure they're lined up perfectly. Um, if you're not using this, just either quickly make one or just make sure that with your wing that everything is lined up where it should be so that when you're done your inserts are lined up nicely with the holes drilled into the wing. Alright, well I am doing two of these at the same time but here's the one we have been working on. Um, I have these inserts spaced perfectly they're lined up, I've triple checked, I know they're ready to go so now I'm just going to mix up some epoxy and I'm going to add just a touch of microfibers and then I'm going to pour and I'm also going to pour into the wings. Okay so as you can see it's been poured in with epoxy and it's just a little bit over you know it's like it has that bubble over the top there. Um, so now in just a few minutes I'm just going to try and get rid of some of those air bubbles by just hitting it with a popsicle stick a little bit. And the same has been done to the wings. The epoxy has just been poured in and just gonna wait for that to cure as well. Alright so I've gone ahead and lined up the inserts for the rear of both of these fuselages <coughs> and the the front has already cured and the rear is on an angle so I, I prop it up on this 2x4 just to get that back portion nice and level so the epoxy doesn't flow out and then pour as normal and wait for it to cure alright so everything has cured it's looking pretty good this is the bottom side nice and flat this is the top side now I'm just gonna give all these surfaces a nice sand and then that's it, it's ready to be fiberglassed. All right, so everything is sanded nice and smooth. You can see there's a little, some air bubbles here, but when you epoxy and fiberglass these parts, those bubbles will disappear. You can see the inserts here, um, and it just comes down to fiberglassing these parts just as, just as normal, and then drilling out these inserts, being very careful not to drill into the metal and messing up the threads. You don't want to do that. And then making sure you drill holes through your wing surfaces that line up with the inserts and then your bolt is able to go through the wing surface into the fuselage and then your wings are bolting on and off. So hopefully that was very informative. I hope it helps out. Um, this isn't very difficult. It just takes a little extra time but I think that is worth it if if you're one of those people that wants these wings to come on and off. So hopefully that helps out and I hope you enjoyed the video.